Hey guys, it's one Abel here, and we all love our Apple products. This is an old iPhone, um, and what's great about them, one of the many good things, is that they are constantly putting better and better camera chips into them. Uh, the new iPhone shoots in 1080p, and that's just amazing. However, it's not as usable as it would be, because it doesn't have a standard, um, a standard mount on it. Now, for those of you who don't know, who aren't into cameras or anything like that, a standard mount is what's on all tripods, and it's a quarter twenty bolt, just like this. So this will be my simulation bolt. But this is basically a uh, this is a very very standard uh, size, and it's uh, the thing that almost everything uses. So I'm going to show you how to make a mount for this using a cheap iPhone case, the cheapest one you can find. A uh, block of wood here. It's this is one and a half by one and a half. Um, uh, I think it's sold as two by two, but it's kind of uh, pretty standard wood. Anything would work that's around this size, and we're gonna cut it up. And to cut it up, you need a saw, pretty much any saw. I have a hacksaw that I used before, and a hot glue gun. So I'm gonna show you how to do it, and I'll get into it. So what I'm going to start off by doing is just taking our one by one piece of wood and I'm going to use my saw and cut off maybe a quarter of an inch from the end. But I'm not going to do it all the way through. I'm going to do it uh, maybe three quarters of the way down and then stop and angle my cutout so I end up having a nice curve on the bottom and cutting out about a third of the side. So here I'll quickly do that. So here I've gone down, so now I've gone down about enough, and I'm just going to come from the side in an upward cut. And take it right out. And now if, if I wanted to, I could file that down, but honestly I don't need to. Uh, I'm not going to sand it or anything. So now I'm going to show you the next step. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to find a nut that fits onto your quarter 20 standard mounts. So you can see it threads on really nicely. And what you're going to do is you're going to find a wrench that fits into it, or just by whatever method, probably just with a ruler would work as well, uh, measure what size the wrench is. Um, so now, you, so th mine is a 7 16th, fits right into a 7 16th wrench. And so what we're going to do is we're going to get our uh, 7 or uh, whatever size this is. In my case, I'm going to get a 7 16th drill bit. And I'm going to draw a, draw, drill a 7 16th hole into the bottom of a mount. Now let me explain this to you. I took, this is the cut that I made earlier. Uh, you can see it's just a kind of curved, tapered thing. And then I cut it off an inch, about an inch. So that's what the thing looks like after all. And into the bottom of it, I'm going to drill my 7 16th hole so that it fits in right there. So I'll drill the hole and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so now that I've drilled the hole, um, as you can see, I didn't go all the way through. I just made it sufficiently deep so that the uh, nut could fit in. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put it back in the vise. And I'm going to take my nut. And you see it doesn't quite fit in. Well, we're going to force it in because force fittings are the best. So I'm just going to take this small hammer and just make it fit. So uh, now this will screw this block will screw onto your tripod and this is the base for your mount. Okay, so now what you're going to do, you're going to take your heated up hot glue gun and you're going to just put it onto the flat part, the side I guess, of the uh, of the um, wood block and then you're going to take your disposable iPhone case, hopefully it's one that snaps together, and you're just going to press it in there and it'll stay there. So now, I'm not going to do it, obviously, because this doesn't even have a case on. Um, and the camera I'm using, which is an iPod Nano, already has a, um, already has the, the, I've already made a mounting for it. Um, so d this is just for demonstration purposes, purposes, but after this is set and cools, you know, you can screw it onto your mounts. And it's just a very cheap, easy, and fast way to make yourself a very nice mount. So thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you next week.